Welcome back, this is Trillis with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. And, uh, well, I've never seen this before, oh man, to be honest. Such a perfect season up to now. We're in week six, going to be playing the Green Bay Packers at Hard Rock Stadium. And our team, if you look at the overalls, we again have to be seen as favorites. And this is a very new position that I find myself in. So far, we've really played up to it. I have to say that we really have been so good last week we also had uh, extra buffs for uh, for Talia and we were just steaming ahead the Bills really um, sounds harsh but they had no chance and before that also all of these games of course the other teams got on the board but it was only once once was close and uh, that was against the Titans every other game just felt like we were just in control and us being reigning champions, you know, I don't really feel too bad about that. I really feel like that is the way it should be. Um, there's a lot of quality in the league and you can never underestimate any team. But at the moment, really feeling pretty confident that we're going to get into the playoffs. Win the Super Bowl, I don't know. But the team is so good, so balanced at the moment that I really think that this is, yeah, this is something that we can really, really, uh, yeah enjoy for the moment let's put it that way uh, this week we do have a few things to take care of we've got player negotiations we've got a short week to discuss uh, we're going to take a look at the Packers of course and then we're going to be taking uh, a look at the weekly strategy upgrades and then we're off to the game one thing that I wanted to show you here is um in the player negotiations of course we have certain players in here that I do feel uh, we will get uh, renegotiated that we also want to keep around. Karen Williams is a big maybe. Morgan Fox is a hard no. Just one in for the mentor tag. Key Ringo, of course. Um, super important cornerback player. But of course, you know, total cost will be 25.3 mil over the next five years. Uh, Noah Sewell, 29.9 mil over the next four years. Uh, DJ Johnson, I want to keep him around. He's not that expensive, plus I can really hike that up uh, over a seven-year deal. Same goes for Noah Sewell, same goes for Keely Ringo. But still, you know, is this really where I want to go? Cam Steele uh, is a huge maybe. At 18-24, he's really looking very good. Siaki Ike also looking good. He just wants a one-year deal. So yeah, I think I have some leeway in handling this. But one thing that I just have to be aware of is week nine is the trade deadline after week nine i cannot change anything anymore so i could try and re-sign these players here if that works gonna be happy um, but after dj johnson cam steel if i can't re-sign him i only get to re-sign him at the end of the season and then i cannot trade him siaki Ike, same thing he's not expensive so we'll be keeping him plus he's got qualities so that's fine kareem hunt uh, I will not be giving a new deal to Jeremy Ruckert. I want to keep him, plus he's very cheap. Uh, and then these here, I'm going to let go. But, you know, I was thinking maybe, do I trade a player like Kareem Hunt at some point in time? Um, I'm sure to get good players for him. Plus, I could sweeten the deal. Uh, I could say, all right, I'm going to be going for Jeremy Ruckert plus Kareem Hunt, for instance. Um, it's going to drag on the uh, on the cap space. We don't have that much, so we really have to think of that. But uh, these two here, I was looking for alternatives already. And uh, Kili Ringo, for instance, if I were to trade him away and I were to go for a positional switch and I were to go and look for cornerbacks and looking for quality quarterbacks, I mean, I found Kyrie Elam here. He's a 2.5 cap hit. It's basically basically the same, so things wouldn't change too much. It's 85 at 88. Um, if I were to go for that, um, Kili Ringo, uh, a carry Elam already checked, has a, has a uh, contract for the next five years set up. So five years, nothing to think about. Um, plus the cap hit is quite low with a 5.1 mil. And the total salary with 18.5 is below uh, what uh, Kili Ringo would want to receive. So that's one player that I was looking at, uh, Noah Sewell. I basically did the same thing here. 
Uh, right now it's only 1.9 mil, but he does want around 30 mil for, for four years. So any player at the left outside linebacker position um, that is a bit lower uh, looking at the, at the costs, that would be a possibility. I was looking through and then I found a player and it was this one here. Adepodu Adebawore and he has a, he, he has a hidden death trait. Um, so that is very interesting. His stats look good. Uh, you know, he's 77 rated at the moment. So I feel like he could be slotting in immediately. Um, and if I were to go for this, I would even have a little bit of a better uh, cap space uh, situation um, would it, would be improving the cap um, and uh, since this is a rookie he's got a super low deal for the next four years and then I still think that we can get a very good deal on him so really thinking about this here that would definitely be an improvement obviously we have a short week this week so not much time to create an elaborate game plan with that being the case, I want to stress how important it is that we play fundamentally sound football this week. Definitely so little recovery time. A lot of guys are going to be less than 100%, which can lead to sloppy football and mental errors. Exactly, I work better than that. Stress to the team that it's imperative that we take care of the ball and be the team capitalizing off mistakes rather than being the ones making them. There we go. Beat the Packers, commit one or fewer turnovers. Good. We're going to try and do that, right? Stephen Thomas, quarterback, starting quarterback. Jared Goff is also there. Julian Carter. Let's check out Stephen Thomas here. Start of trade, 22 years old, out of Howard. Looking pretty solid, actually. Not bad. Good throw power, medium accuracy. He's good as well. Running back, Devin Singletary, then Sean Tucker. Jarkis Hunter. These two looking pretty good for the future. Devin Singletary, former Patriot, now a Packer. Andrew Gallery is the fullback, looking decent. Christian Watson and Calvin Ridley are the top wide receivers. This is actually giving me a little bit of a hope because both of these are very good, especially looking at the speed, 95, 96, and here, 92, 95. And we've also got Shelton Sampson Jr. is 22 and 81 rated hidden death trait. Alpha LSU, Whew, quite beastly. But still, there's no real... Uh, x-factor player here at the moment so this is uh, definitely positive tight end is Eric Gilbert unchanged for years Robert Tonyan still there Tucker Craft is there as a tight end and I've got Javante Marine balanced tight end room what about the offensive line we've got David Bakhtiari left tackle elite bit on the older side Nolan Rucci behind him left guard Sean Ryan and Trovon Bow or Bow or Buff whatever uh, let's take a look here. Longtime Green Bay Packers player, center Josh Myers, 28, 82. John Michael Schmitz, who's very nice actually, I know him. Right guard is Royce Newman, 29, 83. BJ Davis, right tackle. JC Latham is injured, so we're going to be facing Andrew Stuber, which is fine by me. Defense, Isaiah Foskey is injured, so either Selby or Morris or Norris, both are horrible choices. Devonta Wyatt at right edge, looking very good actually. Let's just check this out. Long time Packer, Derek Bishop. They could switch over Derek Bishop to uh, to the left edge. Slight improvement over Selby and Norris. D tackle Kenny Clark, super dangerous veteran player. T.J. Searcy, a rookie. Kimani easily both horrible. Left outside linebacker Demone Clark, 26 and 75. They've got Emmett Good and Nolan Harris, 24-67 at midline backer. We've got Quay Walker, 26-88. Braden Pickens, Drake Bowen. Or this linebacker, Nicholas Harbour, 22-76. And Barry Russell. This is uh, not the highest rated defense. Cornerback, definitely different. Jerry Alexander, superstar. Eric Stokes, both of which very dangerous. Zion McCollum. Alonzo Patterson, D'Angelo Smith, all in the mix here. Those three down here, not bad, especially not for the future. Uh, McCollum, 27, yeah. But these two in the 90s, very good corners. Free safeties, John Johnson, the third, 87 rated, looking very good. Matt Dunbar, 
is uh, the replacement player here. Leave the brown usually, all right. Jack Howell at strong safety and Eric Corona. What a name in this day and age. There we go, Jack Howell out of Colorado State. Normal dev tree, but looking pretty nice actually, stat wise. Kicker Bobby Bass, punter is Nate Allen, both of which actually not looking too bad. All right, what do we do in regards to the weekly strategy? I feel like we can just continue doing what we do best. Defend the short pass, uh, then we're gonna go with half pads because I don't wanna risk injuries. And this is a short week, so players will be tired, will be more tired than they would usually be. We're gonna go the inside run. Bijan is gonna be doing his thing and here, same thing. We're going to be going with the splits for everyone except for right tackle, Francis Maui Goa. All right, team profile. What are we, what are we going to do? We're going to get an interception. That works for me. We're going to allow 20 points, 300, okay. And we're going to win the turnover battle. This is something that we need to do anyways. All right, offensive training results are in. Not expecting a lot of points here. I just don't want to have any injuries uh, to nobody actually. So also not on defense. And we're just taking a look at uh, the player results here. You could always pause the video and just check out uh, who has improved where. Next up, let's take care of the player upgrades. Let's see, three upgrades here. B. Jan Robinson getting one receiving back he's just i mean he's he's gonna have insane ratings everywhere i just take a look at that jesus man <laughs> wow natani booty stalwart player on the offensive line very happy that we have him really francis moeo francis moeo there we go weirdly pronounced francis Agile, awareness, pass block, finesse, run block, and run block finesse. He's a scheme fit. All right. Just going to check the lineup because we do have injuries to compensate. So we're going to be going with not twice Maui Goa. Now we're going to use him. We're going to use McKinney here. Muti, Patterson, Green, which is a good inside and we're going to use Maui Goa and McKinney on the outside. That actually looks very decent for me. We could use Kareem Hunt as a fullback. That is pretty funny, actually. All right, DJ Womack, uh, Deshaun Womack, CJ Craig, Derek Williams. Is he developing? Yes, he is. I really want to know what this dev trade is. I really want to know what this death trade is going to be. Hard Rock Stadium, Thursday night, primetime football, Madden 23, presenting the Green Bay Packers versus the Miami Dolphins. Last week's stats, Christian Watson, 139 receiving yards, zero touchdowns. Well, zero touchdowns, I can work with that. Uh, here's our team. Of course, we're going with the standard jerseys current version home jerseys again we're going to be the home team and the packers certainly not to be underestimated but then again we're the home team with the defending champions and i really think that we do not have to hide we do not have to be scared we do not have to be you know too much in awe of this uh, of this team that's usually pretty all right there we go Gonna eat my words. Sure of that. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with a run play. Left hand side run here. Bijan Robinson. Uh, that was a pretty good run. Up until number 21 decided to stop it. 86 yards last week. 705 on the season. Very good season for Bijan once again. Gonna go the halfback slam. Four yards on that pickup. Momentum already slightly stacked against us. All right. And that was Walker. All right, we're going to go the verticals wide rack now. 
gonna try and do this here. It's really hard to sometimes deduce if teams will be, you know, how hard teams will be to beat. Sometimes teams are, you know, looking super dangerous, like the Bills, for instance. Uh, they, they do come to mind. But then they just aren't, I don't know, they just feel manageable, right? This team not looking crazy good. Oh my god, that was a lot of stiff arming. And almost breaking completely through here. So, there we go. Good run. Good stop. <laughs> Take a look at that. He's just shedding the tackle, man. Alright, we really have to be on our best behavior. I want to get back at them very quickly. They okay, actually slide. Let's go with this. They're adjusting slightly. Second linebacker back there. Can't really evade the attentions here. Mayor was covered all the way. But Talia floats out of the pocket and places the ball straight into his hands. At the 41 yard line. 2 minutes 40 to be played in the first quarter. Let's go, Bijan. Come on. Uh, a lot of stiff arming. Only four yards on the gain here. Cross drag is our next choice. Our left side is severely impacted on the offensive line, so we might be feeling that. And there we go. That's Michael Mayer. Beautifully done. Walker sort of does a stutter step and can't really catch up with him then. Really loving the way that uh, Talia feels and plays at the moment. He's just so precise. I think that's that's a good word. Precise. Beautiful. Bo Collins to the inside makes himself available. And what a delivery! And again. It was the mid linebacker. Those are usually limiting factors. Let's just keep an eye on this. All right, can I? Oh, there we go. On this area here. Keep an eye on number seven. Because he's sort of blocking the middle. And then he does this turn towards the side here. You know, just look, look at his position. If he were to, to move backwards alongside this player, um, Bo Collins, then I'd be blocked pretty quickly. Like this, he's just too far away, and he's 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 the man to block, right? A little bit more to the left, but he was just sort of staying in position. He wasn't drifting over there. He wasn't matching the run, and I just knew I had a shot at that. So very good, very good, guys. Right hand side run now. Bijan Robinson again. Oh dear. Oh, that is blown up pretty quickly. We do get a yard. We do get a yard. We're going to go the southeast corner here. Is that going to be tricky to accomplish? Let's go with this. Mayor or Chase. Third and one. That was good. We're gonna set up a mesh spot, but then I feel like feel like it's time for some trickery here, right? Inside zone, left hand side. Or am I gonna regret this one? That's a yard. There we go. Even making it into the end zone here. That's Beach and Robinson. And on comes the Dolphins fight zone. Absolutely loving that. Ah, there, there's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who have the shots and the ship and that stuff, for instance. But just loving that. It's just such a happy feeling. Typical Miami, right? 10 versus 7. There we go. We're going to set up a speed dig out. But of course, 
Of course, that is going to be not what we're going to be going for. There we go. Chill and water. And just at the right time. 27, that's Pickens. Goes forward. Again, opening up a gap for uh, for Jalen Waddle. Just sort of staying there. Taking longer to react or I don't know. Jalen Waddle. Beautiful run. Wow. Wow. What a hit. Damone Clark. Taking a seat here. I don't think that's the Clark that we need to be careful and uh, mindful of, right? Kenny Clark is a dangerous Clark. Hmm. Third and five. Mesh spot. This is definitely feeling more tricky. Definitely way trickier. There we go. Jamar Chase. Two minutes 48 in the second quarter. I want to get back at them. Field goal or touchdown. Either way. It's fine by me. Set up a Y stick here. But I'd rather go. Let's go with this. Because they're a little bit leaning towards the right, if you know what I mean. Safe catch. There we go. 20 yard line. And that's that's what I meant. They had a lot of players on that right side set up to sort of counter the run. But it just took a lot of time to react here. Two minute warning hits us. We're behind 10 and 7. Let's go with the drive corner. Robinson, maybe even maybe even Mayer. Chase is also a good route. Let's just see. Uh, smacked away. Decided to go for Bo Collins. Probably, probably not my best decision right there. Bijan is still super on fire. And a perfect screen. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. That was Wyatt. Third and fourth. The screen was perfect. Bijan really got away nicely, turned the corner, but there was no block. And uh, Wyatt could just really get at him there. Let's see, slants. Third and four. Ah, let's go with this. Oh, oh dear. Fourth and four. All right, let's take a field goal right now. Let's try and get those points. There we go. Boom. Kick is between the sticks. Tyler Bass doing his thing. And so far, Kendrick Green and Jackson Carmen have been doing quite well. Carter McKinney on the right. Francis Mauigo on the left. Kendrick Green filling in. And uh, there we go. Player is free. Oh, that tackle came so quickly. Harper. Trail shake next up. 10 versus 10. Balanced game. 33 seconds. I would really like to get into. Okay. Good lord. Francis Maui go stops wide, but that is oh. that was a hard hit. Maui go luckily very quickly to react, but you can't stop that. You can't on to man. And I was talking about getting into fetal range. And here they come and hit us. Oh. Almost in his hands. Why drop it later on? Why do that, my friend? Right, let's go. 
Johnson Mayer. Well, that was very nice. Let's call a timeout. Well, we have one more timeout left. How many seconds? Was it 10 or was it more? 11. Oh, that is close. Let's go for a mesh. I uh, will be looking for call-ins. I just want to reduce reduce the distance as much as I can. Hard hit. Hard hit here. Ball is dropped and they're sitting. Yeah, they're completely expecting pass plays here. Can we get Jamar Chase? Nope. This is feeling very tightness. Very much like the Titans game. Um, let's go with a medium pass. Let's try and get this mesh going here. Collins would be good. Yep, oh, not happening. The half comes to an end. And uh, the Packers proving to be the tough team that I expected them to be. But uh, we will now react. We're going to focus more on the run plays again. They have been stifling those pretty well. Let's go for a touchback, just on the safe side. I want to start from between five. Not lose any yards. Especially unnecessary losing yards, you know. That is not really what I want to see here. Let's go the halfback zone, left hand side. Let's just start pounding them. You can always revert to passing, but they just have. Oh man, their 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 rush is really hard. The linebackers, as always, they are the crucial ones. Front line. Take a look at this. Hmm. those but we're gonna stick with this pass play here adjustment not getting through luckily we have trust because those hits are really hard Kyrie McKinney stepping in at right tackle all right inside zone slight curve Bijan let's go 67 please cross there we go with the stiff arm we can get past another player here and the big game changer for Bijan was the power halfback upgrades those were really really important because as soon as we got those done he was he just upped his game so much more it really feels like he's powering into the players and relishing the fact that Opposing players really struggling to get to clips. Do you see that? Number 95 reaching across, one shove. There we go. Hard hit, of course, but we're going to go to the left. They're sitting up on the right. We're going to go to the left. Let's try and get this done here. Ugh. Third and four. Only a yard on this play here. Uh, he's breathing hard. Let's 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 rest him up a little bit. Was that rough in the passer? Oh come on, guys! Kendrick Green, fourth and four. Yeah, why would they? Why would they do that? Let's go the bench swap here. Michael Mayer, Jalen Waddle. I think we got the first down. At fourth to four, sometimes you just have to, you know. I'm gonna say grow a pair. Now that is a little bit edgy, I know, but sometimes you just have to go for that risk. Angel and Waddle. Pushed back here, number seven, number 23. 
Jared Alexander and Walker. Second and three. Man, Bijan is dead tired. Yeah. Third and three. And it shows, man. It really shows. Okay. Let's go into the depth chart. We are going to fix this. Uh, third running back. Power halfback. Power halfback, we can use Kareem Hunt. Let's see what he can do. Third and three. Halfback slap. One more, Bijan. Come on. Pull yourself together, man. It's going to be fourth and inches. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter too much. We're going to get this. We're going to get this via inside zone. Still no rest for him. Hmm, he's really breathing hard. I don't want to see an injury for him. So we are going to go down here to the third running back. There we go. Let's bring in Karn Williams as well here. <clears throat> Just to rest him up a little bit. And there we go. Okay. And that was an important run. Important to get that completed. Bench take curl. Johnson, maybe what? Good stop here, four yards on the first pickup. Halfback zone, left hand side run. Do we have a better one? Yeah, let's go with this. Third and two. We are moving forward very slowly, and I'm fully aware of that one. Inside zone, DeAndre Swift at uh, the quarter end and this is really back and forth game 17 and 10 very tense <laughs> very tense all right let's go the quick base looks like all right we got fourth and inches do you get forward but we're just stopped on that line Give me a direct run. Half back good. There we go. Left hand side. Ah, Bijan. Thank you for that. Up to the six yard line. And we are really edging forward ever so slowly. Looking for DeAndre Swift. Five yards. <laughs> it's a rather slow gain here, but okay, I'm gonna take that. Bijan Robinson, do I have a clever play here? Something like this, maybe. And there we go, TJ Johnson, and we're in. Okay, we do drag momentum. A little bit away from them. A little bit of a Dolphins fight zone. Come on, defense now. Come on, D. Come on, D. Yes, they stop them. 17 versus 17. And we are. We're back in business. Let's go with this play action cross country. Looking for a bottle. Just has to be very quick. Number 27, saw that one coming from a mile away. Let's go to an inside zone. The field goal can decide this. But only if we manage to really get into a good position here. Third and seven. You can clearly see that our offensive line is struggling here. But why? Well, we're missing two key players. But uh, we might... Might stand a better chance if I put Carmen over on that right tackle position, right? 
just has the higher strength rating. I feel like that is so important. All right, and that's what these get players get paid the big bucks for. Chilling Waddle, speeding off into the backfield. And Talia, with a gigantic seven-year deal, finding him. All right, off we go. Jackson Carmen now on the right tackle position, 79. Gonna need him to really do his thing. And this is Bijan. Ah, oh, there we go. Second and inches. Very positive play here for verticals. Looking for DeAndre Swift. Michael Mayer also a possibility. But uh, there we go. DeAndre Swift is just the decoy guy. Packers, of course, calling for a timeout. And. That was a very good game. We're going to go to power O now. Oh, I don't like this play a lot. Okay, I can only choose between the slant variants. Hmm. 95 Mike. Yeah, let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. Kareem Hunt. Going forward two yards. Not really what I wanted to see in terms of yards, but it just means that they have to use another timeout again. Mountain zone. Halfback stretch, halfback lead. Let's go with this one. And off we go. DeAndre Swift, what a great run. Picking up a first down. They have to use the timeout. This means that we... We can move forward now. Let's go with... Let's go with a halfback lead. Kareem Hunt. As long as we have him, he can show us what he can do. But it is... 32. No, that is Kareem Hunt. I think the Andrew Swift is 31. I'm going to have to check the numbers later on. Around the five yard line and uh, to be honest, we're going to let this run down. I mean, I trust our defense, but this is a tight one. This is a really tight one. So here we go. Going to let you in on a secret here. I let myself be taken down. Inside zone. Ah, 23, that's swift. All right, off we go. And now it's our time to call a timeout. Because 19 yard field goal. <laughs> really trying to make that field goal happen, right? I will be going with a halfback dive at two yards and eight seconds and Bijan I feel like we can get this done it is tough but all right let's call another time we're still at the two yard line so not losing a lot of time here all right, let's take the field goal wind is coming against us here Slightly off, but uh, close enough that it doesn't matter. And there we go. Boom. We're in between. And that is the end of the game. 20 versus 17. The final score. <laughs> and that was a tough one. A really tough game. Never felt completely in control 
like against the Bills. But overall, it was a good one. I am satisfied with how we went about that game. Steven Thomas, two touchdowns, 163 yards, 76% completion rate. We have 71, but 200 yards almost. Slightly lower. Don't really care about that. Beach and Robinson, 82 percent, uh, 82 yards. Sorry, one touchdown. That was good. Receiving Calvin Ridley. Wow. Mayor Waddle Johnson. Oh, just a good performance. Really good performance by everyone. Sacks allowed. Stuber and Ryan. Tackle leader. Quay Walker. Yeah, no surprise. Number seven was everywhere. Tackles for loss, also Quay Walker. And we've got sacks for Odafi away, Emmanuel Ogba, Nicholas Harbour, and zero interceptions. Who said short weeks had to be tough? Despite the limited time to prepare and everyone being less than 100%, we still got the job done. Yeah, I feel like that was good. No days off, 2,500 experience earned for the entire offense. Executing the game plan on short week has the offense fired up, resulted in plus 10 morale for each offensive player. Now that's a great boost, isn't it? And all while I was playing, I was thinking of this one player and uh, of going for this trade. And I decided that I want to do that because Noah Sewell is good and all that, but uh, 30 mil for four years, that's going to impact us. He's 83 rated at the moment. He's got a start of trade. And uh, the other player that I was looking at with the Colts, if I remember it correctly, left outside linebacker, is a rookie. There we go. Ade Pojo Ade Baware. So 76 rated. He's going to get buffs, anyways. Um, and, uh, you know, if we look at this, this is really actually a very fair trade. Because uh, it means that uh, we get we get a player that has some potential, and they get a player that is immediately an improvement. There we go, done deal. We are sending Noah Sewell, left outside linebacker. He's a starter to uh, the Colts as well as two seventh rounders. We are receiving left outside linebacker Adeba Ware. Um, he is a rookie. He has a hidden dev trait, so I'm really excited to see what that is going to be. Um, and with that, we are immediately solving one of the problems here, actually, because uh, I do want to keep Kili Ringo, despite him not, he's not a starter, so he's not that crucial in comparison. But, uh, you know, when I do look at the lineup here, and let's switch over here, and I've got these players here, then it is quite, quite clear that I want to have Adebayore there. Um, and uh, this should really give us a very solid setup plus he will probably be growing very quickly um and uh you know that hidden dev trait we just have to reveal that if it's a star then that's equal if it's not a star then it doesn't even matter because we will have got something better along the way all right guys with that said and done we are done for this week really enjoyed the game it was a little bit more tricky than uh, last week's game but we still came out on top we're still six and oh still unbeaten Let's try and make it an unbeaten season. And with that said, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked it, drop me a like and subscribe. And as always, hope to see you next time.